Today, we are at Wilson Creek Winery in the heart of Temecula Wine Country, discussing the efforts taken by Wilson Creek's owners and staff to reopen responsibly and safely during the COVID-19 pandemic. With me today to touch on this topic is CEO of Wilson Creek, Bill Wilson, and CEO and President of Berrigan Corp International, David Berrigan. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me today. So, Bill, how has the COVID-19 pandemic, along with the ever-changing mandate set forth by the governor, CDC, and public health department, affected Wilson Creek and your employees? Man, I will tell you what, uh, it's hard enough managing a, a winery and a family-owned winery and having 240 employees and seeing all the different aspects of, of a business that we operate. Throw in the whole COVID and coronavirus thing and shutting down completely, opening here, shutting there, doing this, doing that. It is absolutely, I can't believe I have hair left. Um, it's been a really traumatic experience for the entire team, uh, whether it's managerial, frontline staff. Uh, it, it was it was really um, kind of, we were more mad at the government and constantly chasing. As I said, I've been playing chess with Gavin Newsom uh, until it hits you. And when we opened back up and we were just, you know, high-fiving each other and things were going great and, you know, we're, we're almost getting back to numbers we were seeing last year. And then, bam, we have a middle-level manager get, you know, a positive test back. Uh, and then you quarantine your whole managerial team and then you have no leadership. And they all panic. They're all like, we're not comfortable. We're absolutely not comfortable. So now we had to create our own uh, how to get back to, to business. And that's where David's uh, team came in of giving us some sort of uh, outside guidance, so to speak, so that we could feel really comfortable. And that's the most important one is to feel the employees are, are comfortable with the protocols that we have in place. And then ultimately the guests have uh, uh, comfortable coming here because uh, we want it to be safe. You want me to tell them the irony of all that? The middle level manager was a false positive test. We tested him in five different things a week after and he came up negative on everything, including three different s swabs, two different COVIDs, uh, antibody tests, all negative. It was a freaking false positive. We had to reclose down everything, making national news. Uh, viral or it just was crazy so you know 10 million people found that we were closed and you know 10 people now know we're back open again so it has been absolutely mind-boggling I, I don't wish this on my worst enemy uh, of having to go through and deal with what we're dealing with in 2000 and 2020 uh, and thank you uh, for coming and, and presenting all this stuff and and, and reaffirming, because some of the stuff we've already done, it's if you pay attention, you already do it. Uh, it just kind of has us tightening some things up and making it even uh, more bulletproof for uh, staff and guests to feel comfortable. So it's been awesome. Well, well we're hoping that worked uh, for you and it continues to work for you. I want to be able to sleep at night knowing that I've done everything within my power uh, with the expert's help to make sure that uh, we stay as safe as possible. And so I feel, you know, with this facility, we're as safe as possible here. It's just when they go out there and they, whatever they do out in their own time. And, you know, uh, I don't like wearing these things any more than anybody else does and, and uh, social distancing and all that. So uh, again, thank you. and. Uh, for those of you who are watching, it's been a pleasure to work with him. His entire team is, is uh, awesome. Uh, Phil, he's coming back and he's doing a whole uh, training for us. And uh, my brother-in-law does all the fogging. We got testing. So we got a whole protocol that, that we've helped other wineries follow. Because, you know, they call us, what'd you do? How'd you do it? Because I've got this, I've got that. And it's just so easy to just go, here it is, bing, 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 bing. Here's, here, here's, the, here's the road map. And uh, and he's funded by the Small Business Development Corporation. So there you go. <laughs> no cost out of your pocket other than 
the lost revenue for having to shut down and not do it right. Yeah, exactly. So it seems like the partnership with BCI and Wilson Creek is, is a healthy one. Uh, in opening your business and keeping your business open responsibly. That's the key word there. It, it really is. Um, you know, you, 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 everybody wants to stay open. Everybody wants to maximize revenue. Um, and they're putting profits over people. That's the new phrase. You know, mm. We're always trying to say people over profits. Because uh, if you put people over profits, the profits will come. Uh, this is a very short term. You know, five years from now, God willing, we're not going to be talking about COVID-19, and it'll be a distant memory in the past. But right now, it's so real. It is so, it's just constant. Everything in your brain is going COVID-19. How can we continue to operate? How can we keep the lights on? How can I keep the employees paid? Uh, you know, the PPP is fine, but that's very brief. Now what? And we're in the now what stage. So uh, it's, it's interesting. It's, uh, it's tough. So it's funny that you mentioned the now what stage. David, what now? What have you done and what can your services provide not only Wilson Creek, but all the other wineries in this Temecula Valley? Well, I gotta tell you, in Southern California, if you think about the places, the destination places that you wanna go to any day of the week, Temecula Valley is that place. Within Temecula Valley, Wilson Creek is that place that I used to enjoy, especially on Sundays and coming for brunch. Me and my crew would come here and, and make it a, a weekly event. This has been the kind of thing that, is, that has hindered those opportunities for a lot of people. You know, Bill talked about the, the false positive that he had. Whether you have a, a positive or a false positive, it affects your business. It affects everything that we do every day. When BCI comes into an organization, we give you a map and a, a pathway for success. And even if you have a positive case, it gives you the protocols that you would follow so that when that does happen, it's not an extended period of time that you're closing the doors. You know, we do a lot of things at BCI, but for COVID-19, the things that we've done for, for Wilson Creek is we've done a risk assessment, we've done a site plan, and we've done training. But the big factor that, and Bill touched on it, uh, it's easing the anxiety for all the employees that are here. Because when, when, they're, when you communicate with them, as he said, daily, that eases the anxiety for employees because they know that when they come to work, although there might be exposure out there, they're protected by it because of the protocols that the Bill and his staff have done here at Wilson Creek. I can wholeheartedly tell you that this is a very, very safe place to come. And for anybody out there that's considering what to do on a weekend or any day of the week and they want to come to wine country, come to Wilson Creek. All the hoopla that came out about the false positive that they had was just that. But even if it had been a positive, I can tell you all the protocols that they have in place, they've sanitized everything. All their staff has is, is been trained on the proper uses of PPE and distancing. And when you come through the gate, you'll know because you're going to get temperature checked and you're going to be asked to wear a mask. But it's to protect you as well as everyone else. And I'll tell you, this is a safe place to be and I love it here and I wholeheartedly uh, Hope that everybody hears this and they come out and experience the wine country experience at Wilson Creek. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Bill. Well, really thank appreciate you. it. And good luck to you both. Oh, thanks.